Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Computer Science and Engineering Workshop. This is your host, Dega Ottman. So in today's tutorial, we're going to be writing a C program to, um, to create us a 16 character long alphanumerical string. So if you see right here, if you look right here, you're going to see the string that we're generating. So let's just press enter and then um, reload this. As you can see, it creates a new string each time we load it. So without further ado, let's jump straight in. <clears throat> okay, so before we begin, I'm going to be using um, Visual Studio Code, not code, good old Visual Studio, just <laughs> Visual Studio, not code. Um, so what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be creating our project. So alphanumeric string, I'm just going to name the project. It's, I'm just going to open it with the empty project template here. As soon as it loads. So first thing that I want to be able want to be doing is um, I need to create a function uh, which will then return me a random character. Name that C. There we go. So next, I'm just going to add my libraries here. So standard input output std lib for um no we <laughs> include is the standard library for um, our random function and lastly the time header to um, because we're going to be using the time function to randomize the process and um, let's see our main function is here so the first thing that I want to have is before we get into actually creating the string I need to have a character function which will return me the um, it which will return me a character either from the English alphabet or the decimal number system so integer no so this will be the number of the um, um, what's it called um, the character that we're gonna be picking from it from it uh, so let's see now we're just gonna have a variable char I'm just gonna call it X and uh, we're gonna have a switch case switch inside and inside of this switch, we're going to have a total of um, 62 cases. So case 0 break. So in each of these cases, so let's say that if it's case 0, X will be capital A. And then the next case will be capital B. <clears throat> Although writing it like this is going to take a lot of time and it's very unintuitive. So, you know, one thing that uh, my professor actually once told me was that an engineer is supposed to be, you know, lazy. So, and that laziness actually comes at a cost. So, what I'm going to, you know, you need to find the easier way to do things. So, what I actually did when I was um, initially writing it was a uh, so I set myself a counter control loop um, 62 and then I plus plus. So and uh, each time I would print out so the statement that we would be writing there normally. So case x equals let's just type a here and then new line new tab. Let's see. Um, what else I have, of course lastly the break so below this just get um, and then exit zero just watch this real quick so as I said that laziness actually comes at a cost and you, you need to be you basically need to know how to um, work your way around things so what is going on? Oh wait, I forgot a little thing here. Uh, we forgot to type I here. So you know the placeholder can't really find anything so it just prints out that. Okay so the other thing that we forgot about was to just create a new line after this was printed. But what's going to happen now is it's going to print us what we otherwise would have typed manually so we have 62 cases here we're gonna press control C 
switch number and then paste this and just like that we saved ourselves from a lot of unnecessary work so inside these we're gonna have to um, so insert these manually but for the sake of this tutorial actually have this function saved here so I'm just gonna copy paste this from here otherwise the video would be way too long so there we go so we have this switch here and inside we have 62 different cases where um, each one will return us either a character from the English alphabet or a number 0 to 9 so after that it will return us the X character so now that we're done with the alphanumeric function we can actually get to the string generator function so it's gonna be void string gen so we want to have a char array of it's gonna be length 16 right so I'm just gonna define it real quick define length 16 there we go much better so uh, <clears throat> we're gonna come here and then we're just gonna type int integer i we're gonna define the integer that we're gonna be using for our loop and then we're gonna go ahead and start typing send so it's going to be um, it's going to be the seed for our randomizer so we're just gonna use time it doesn't really matter this does this will give us limited randomness then again for the intended purpose it doesn't really matter that much so i equals zero i less than len i plus plus <clears throat> so inside of this what we want to do is actually you know what let's not call this r let's call this code my bad there so code i will be equal to whatever um this function will return so inside of this we're just going to open a second um, layer of parentheses and inside we're just going to type rand to um, get a random numeric value and then we're going to modulate it by 62 so that way what will happen is that this um, the number inside of this will always be between 0 and 61 so uh, and then uh, depending on the value that's inside of that inside of here uh, this function will return a character that character will be added to the to our string here and then we're gonna be able to see what happens okay so since we're done with the string gen cup function what I want to do now is I want to go ahead and create the um, real array inside of our um, main function so we're just gonna call the string gen function here I'm just gonna send the code inside of it and then what I want to do is, well actually I forgot a little step here, integer i. For, we're going to have another counter controlled loop, so i will be 0, i will be smaller than len, and then i plus plus every single time the loop, um, the loop body is executed, the i will increase by 1. So what we want happening here is, we want to print out the character inside, so percentage C and then code brackets I so let's see if it works now shall we and as you can see we now are generating a random 16 character code okay so to recap what we just did so first thing we did was to create the alphanumeric function inside we have the variable X so what we do is we take in the number of the um, of the character that we want and then what we do is we store that character in the x variable and then what we do is we return that x variable and if I could just close this um, and then what we do is inside of the string generator we randomly choose one of those characters and then store it in the given index of our code and then lastly what we do in the main function is well we just call the string generator function and then we print out our code and just like that we get a 16 character random string so thank you guys for watching make sure to like and subscribe given that you found the video helpful or educational by any means i hope you did 
and uh, make sure to stay safe and always keep improving.